Hello everyone, this is Steve at WordPress on a Budget. Got a question for you. Have you ever wanted to manage email newsletters from directly inside your WordPress dashboard? Means no MailChimp, no campaign monitor, no APIs to worry about. Just click on a tab and start sending out an email to your subscriber list. Oh, by the way, we'll throw in a little handy dandy email design builder with themes built in as well. Well now you can. In this video we'll be taking a look at Jackmail Newsletters. It's a WordPress specific email service with built-in SMTP which means your email is less likely to end up in somebody's spam folder. It has a lot of features. We'll scroll down the page here. From import and manage contact list, contact forms, you can clone your campaigns if you like one that you want to keep reusing. Uh, there's lots of them here. Customize your newsletters, track your impact, the template gallery, um, list statistics. You can do HTML or plain text. You can schedule your campaigns. Like I said before, no SMTP needed. And you can also connect to other plugins if you happen to be using them. Plugins like WooCommerce, Ninja Form, WP Forms, Zapier, which is coming soon as of this video. And they just recently announced on their Twitter account that they now have a connector with Gravity Forms. And Bloom is coming up next. Okay, let's get to the bottom line to a lot of people. What is the WordPress on a budget price? How about free? You get all this free with 3,000 emails a month, except you're limited to 100 emails a day. Uh, you can get rid of the limitations if you want. For $5 a month, you get 2,000 emails, $8 a month, 5,000 emails, and so forth, all the way up to their pro, which is $39 a month, 50,000 emails a month. That is um, pretty affordable in my book. I mean, this is very scalable from starting out to having a big email list. So let's get started. We'll go to our handy dandy WordPress test that I use. You go to plugins, add new, just like you would anything else. Type in Jackmail and find it. Or install it, then activate it. And you'll come to this screen right here. So first you have to do is sign up. So we'll hit continue. You can read this eBuilder license if you like. Well, like most people, you're just going to hit accept. Now if you already have lists somewhere, you can import the data from those lists. Uh, I don't, so for this video we're just going to skip that. And then I want to create an account. So I'm going to pause it here while I do that and I'll be right back okay as soon as you create your account uh, they don't tell you but you're gonna have to wait to get an email from them to validate your account and then once you do you can log on and hit continue and you will end up with this screen right here okay we're gonna start our first campaign Before we get started, I want to show you this down here, and it is a link to the Jackmail authors, the people that make Jackmail. So if you do have a question and they happen to be online, they'll be more than happy to, to answer your questions as fast as they can. So before we go into our campaign, like I said, it'd make a very long video, so I'm going to go through the settings. And first, we're going to start with lists. Now when Jackmail first starts up, it automatically will make you a list of WordPress users. Um, if you don't have anybody but you, of course you'll be the only recipient. But this is something that will automatically get made. And then, like I said, in another video, we'll go over how to create a list. Templates. Templates. 
All right, here are the uh, pre-made templates they give you, what we have so far. There's one, two, three, four, five, seven of them. Plus, you can make one yourself from scratch. And you just click on it, hit create, and it'll load it in. We'll be using some of these later. Statistics. As you can see, for each campaign, you can have a summary of the recipients, the opening rate, the opt-outs, even reading time, click rate, um, behavior tracking. And then technologies, which is basically, you know, are they using Chrome, are they using mobiles, are they using tablets, are they using Internet Explorer, that kind of stuff. Very comprehensive set of statistics that could, you can use. Now, once you've set up your account in the very beginning, you can click here and it'll take you to the Jackmail site into your actual account. You can see how many emails you have left, how many you've used, that kind of thing. And then we'll go to settings. Now here, as you can see, I've got Ninja Forms installed on my WordPress here. So I can click here and it will actually very nicely fit into my Ninja Forms. So I can set up a ninja form and tell it to go straight into the um, whatever list that I have built. And we'll go into that later through their widgets. We can activate connectors. You can customize your domain. So if you want to, instead of just saying it's coming from WPOnABudget.com, it can actually come from newsletter.wponabudget.com if that's what you wanted to do. Of course, you can turn on and off active tracking. You can uninstall email, email builder if you'd like. Here, if you happen to translate it to another language, you can email them. Here, you can check in into your account to see how many credits you have available. And then down here, they have these pre-checked. And though I love Jack Mail and I love their service and talking to them was fantastic. I never take part in this in anything. So I'm going to click that off. Uh, you, if you don't want support down here, you can en enable and disable it. And you can enable and disable notifications to subscribe for a premium plan, which I'm going to cut off. I know for sure that if I get over this many emails that I'm going to have to upgrade they don't have to keep trying to tell me so that's it for this right now uh, in the next video um, I'm going to set up my first newsletter and walk you through those steps using the email builder and using the templates that they provide and um, some of the other stuff if you're learning something or you like what we're talking about please subscribe using the button below it would be much appreciated and until next time I'll see you later